Conversations with an AI Part 3 Okay, if you want to use the scientific-based evidence, then tell me what is consciousness and where it is. Consciousness refers to the subjective experience of being aware of one's thoughts, feelings, and surroundings. It is often described as the subjective experience of having a sense of self and the ability to perceive, think, and feel. The exact nature and origins of consciousness is still not fully understood by science. It is a topic of ongoing research and debate in fields such as neuroscience, psychology, and philosophy. One theory is that consciousness arises from the activity of the brain and nervous system. Studies of the brain have shown that certain regions and networks of neurons are active during conscious experiences, and that damage to these regions can result in changes in consciousness. Another theory is that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe, like space and time, rather than something that emerges from physical processes. This idea is known as panpsychism and it suggests that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe and it's present in all forms of matter. It's important to note that the question of the nature of consciousness and how it emerges from the brain is one of the most complex and unresolved problem in science, and that currently there is no consensus among scientists about the origin and nature of consciousness. It is interesting that the very thing that perceives our every interaction with this world and establishes the scientific-based evidence is such a mystery to itself. Le Mau. It is true that the nature of consciousness and how it arises from the brain is a complex and unresolved problem in science. Researchers from various fields such as neuroscience, psychology, and philosophy have been trying to understand the nature of consciousness for decades, and there is still much that is not fully understood. However, it's important to note that science is a process of discovery and that new findings and theories about consciousness are continuously emerging as technology and research methods improve. Additionally, it's important to remember that the lack of a full understanding of consciousness does not mean that the scientific method is flawed, but rather, it reflects the complexity of the topic and the fact that the science is a process of continuous inquiry and discovery. It's also important to note that while consciousness is a complex topic, that doesn't mean that it's impossible to study or understand. Scientists have made significant progress in understanding the brain mechanisms involved in consciousness and much more is yet to be discovered. If you really enjoyed this series please like, subscribe and share and make sure to hit the bell to get alerts of our latest episode. Remember the truth is out there.